What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here with a new series about something very important, and that is how to do a very secure GPG setup uh, with a YubiKey secure card uh, so that your private keys are always secure and a proper GPG setup with master and sub keys so that you have a long term uh, digital identity with uh, recurring key rotation uh, and uh, no issues uh, if you lose one key or one key gets compromised as you always have uh, a new key uh, that can take over in the uh, hierarchy here. Uh, so this is going to be a close uh, reading with the guide uh, of Dr. Du who has this phenomenal guide here on GitHub under the MIT license. That is awesome. Uh, so this is a very in-depth guide and today only the first uh, video, a little bit as an introduction and also what are the tools that you need uh, and why should you care about this. Um, so the basic uh, things that you need first and foremost uh, is a tails distribution. So a USB stick or uh, even preferably a CD um, that is read only uh, or DVD. Uh, then to boot tails and to boot this on a uh, older secure hardware uh, that you can somewhat trust uh, and especially that you can trust that tails is only booting in the RAM um, of this hardware. Uh, so it is r probably the most convenient, the most secure thing that, uh, that you can get. Uh, so tails is going to be really important uh, and optionally to that uh, is going to be something like a chaos key uh, which is a little usb device uh, quite convenient here which introduces a lot of entropy a lot of randomness uh, to your hardware so this is going to help quite a lot with introducing a uh, big uh, large keys large random numbers with high entropy uh, so that they are actually uh, secure and that they cannot be guessed easily uh, so this is a nice addition to have, not really necessary. Um, but what is absolutely necessary is a YubiKey, uh, a YubiKey which is a little secure uh, element chip. Uh, and preferably the newest version here, version five of their security uh, key series. And there are a couple different options um, that you can choose. A lot of detail here on the website. Um, if you want to have uh, a USB, a regular USB type port, uh, then this one is for you. This also has NFC capability uh, if you want to use it with your phone, for example, uh, also here in the nano ver version. Um, if you prefer to have something like USB type C, uh, that is especially preferable if your laptop or computer uh, and your phone both have USB type C, then this is very convenient. Uh, so choose whichever is fitting to you. Um, and then that's pretty much all you need. Um, also, what is going to be really useful, a couple of USB sticks, um, both one to boot tails off from, uh, that is going to be important, as well as some secure backups of the GPG master key. Um, so this is going to be uh, a couple of hopefully new and rather secure uh, USB sticks yeah, and make sure that they are formatted and, and that no other junk uh, is on there. Um, and uh, then, of course, make sure that they are encrypted uh, for, the, for the backup, which we will do then now. So you will lose all the data that is on these uh, USB sticks. Uh, so you will need three at, or at least three, probably even a bit more if you want to go certain and do some extra backups. Uh, but at least three USB sticks or SD cards. Um, to for some long-term or medium to long-term storage. Uh, so get a couple of this. So this is going to cost you a little bit, um, maybe in total uh, with a chaos key, um, a UB key and uh, three USB sticks, maybe a hundred euros, a hundred dollars roughly. Uh, so th this should be doable uh, because this is really something of a long-term setup. Uh, and uh, again, redundancy is useful. So maybe even think of getting a second UB key if you can afford it. Um, and if you want to have this extra uh, security. Uh, and Pierce, this has been so far it for the introduction uh, of this Dr. Do guide on how to do a YubiKey setup uh, for really, really good GPG storage and encryption. And that is a really nice setup, which I personally use. 
Uh, and it is very convenient, uh, both for encrypting your communication uh, with PGP privacy, uh, but also then for encrypting something like a password manager uh, and then having long and secure passwords, uh, which you can use without uh, having the risk of someone finding a paper backup or of someone uh, having a key logger or screenshotter uh, to make sure that uh, they cannot copy uh, your password. So uh, this is a quite secure and quite useful setup, uh, which I can really recommend. Uh, Piers, thank you very much here for watching today uh, and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.